Now, this looks like this looks like a bit of green mown lawn. But when you go down into it and look more closely, you'll see there's oxide daisies, small little daisies, clovers, buttercups, different grasses, different clovers. This is what a biodiversity lawn looks like. It's in the garden, but all the borders, the beds, so you can see the border of the beds. Here in the beds are the vetches. These vetches are edible. They taste like nutty peas. They're absolutely delicious. Yes, this is euphorbia, so don't eat that. But here's a whole series of perennial geraniums that we've been given by a series of friends with some columbine in it. So these are our little bit of mown grass with wild and woolly bordered flower beds. Sadly, this gave up the ghost and died this last winter. This is our fuchsia, big fuchsia bush. I have to take it down and hopefully there will be a regeneration at the bottom. But that is a very diverse lawn that we mow. Full, these are oxide daisies and the little tiny daisies and a little dog. So you can see the diversity of our lawns. And to get this thick with diversity, you see there's plantains, takes years of um, just letting it be and growing. So we're mowing around the wild garden, the wildflower garden. A lot of the plants in this side of the bed is from when um, we emptied the vine house of plants that I'd collected there. So you can see there are my sweet peas starting to come up. A friend of mine wove me that lovely sweet pea stand. But you can see the wildflowers are doing well. So this is one of the winter projects that I was doing, was creating the biodiversity. But the lawn, you can see there's a dandelion. I don't kill my dandelions. I feed them to animals. And when you mow them, the flower heads will still be coming up and rejuvenated underneath. You can see two more generations coming up. So every once in a while when we mow, here's a dandelion that's come up. And then here's another one budding up. And then here's another one, the next one coming up. So that there's constantly food on the lawns for bumblebees and honeybees and other pollinators.